So your phone is lagging, glitching, freezing, or just being dramatic. Apps crash, storage is full, and your battery dies faster than your motivation on Monday morning. Naturally, you've tried everything, restarting it, force quitting apps, deleting 400 screenshots of memes you will never use, turning it off and on again because IT people swear it's magic. But nothing works, so you choose the final, ultimate, irreversible solution. Factory Reset, aka the wipe my phone clean and pray button. But what actually happens during a factory reset? Do your files disappear forever? Does your phone become brand new again? Does the government applaud your decision to erase your browsing history? Let's find out. When you hit factory reset, your phone doesn't politely remove your files like a normal person. It performs an exorcism. Everything must go. Apps you installed, photos, videos, messages, login data, cookies, settings. That one embarrassing selfie you forgot about, your entire digital personality. The phone wipes every user accessible area and reverts to the exact state it was in when you first unboxed it, minus the happiness and hope you had back then. It's like giving your phone amnesia. It forgets who you are, who your friends are, and what you've been doing at 3 a.m. on TikTok. Here's what gets fully, completely wiped. 1. Installed apps. Everything you installed, gone. Your phone forgets you ever downloaded TikTok seven times because you accidentally deleted it again. Two, photos and videos. Your entire camera roll, deleted. Every sunset picture you took that looks identical, gone. Your two gigabyte collection of blurry screenshots, eliminated. Three, messages, texts, WhatsApp data, messenger chats. Everything gets obliterated unless the synced or backed up. 4. System settings, your custom layout, ringtones, Wi-Fi passwords, notifications, all reset to factory default. Yes, even airplane mode turns off automatically. 5. Accounts, Google, Apple ID, email, social apps, wiped clean. Your phone basically becomes a baby. A very expensive, judgmental baby. A factory reset sounds absolute, but it's not perfect magic. 1. The operating system stays. The OS doesn't get deleted. Your phone keeps the same version you were running before the reset. So, if your update broke something, it will still be broken. Congratulations. 2. Some hidden system logs may remain. Not your personal data but OS-level diagnostic logs can remain. These don't contain your selfies, just boring crash reports like app died again, battery hated this, user abuses Chrome tabs. 3. SIM card data. Your SIM card is untouched, so if you expect your phone number to change magically, yeah, no. 4. Cloud backups. Anything synced to Google, iCloud, OneDrive, WhatsApp, Cloud backup. These are not deleted. So don't panic. Your important stuff is probably floating safely in the sky somewhere. Factory Reset does two main things. One, erases the file system index. Your phone stores data like a giant hotel. A factory reset doesn't destroy the hotel. It clears the guest list. It says, I have no idea who stayed here, but feel free to check in again. Technically, the data becomes inaccessible because the address table pointing to the files is wiped. Think of it like deleting a table of contents. The chapters are still there, but no way to find them. 2. Overwrites key sectors. Modern phones use encrypted storage, so when you reset it, the system wipes your encryption keys. This is very important. Once the keys are wiped, your old data becomes permanently unreadable, even by forensic tools. It's like throwing away the only translation key for an alien language. The files still physically exist, but they may as well be garbage now. This is why factory resets are considered secure. Your ex cannot recover your deleted photos. Hackers cannot extract your passwords. You are finally free. What really happens when you factory reset is emotional devastation. Here is the emotional timeline. 
Stage 1. Denial. I'll reset everything. It won't be that bad. Stage 2. Panic. I lost my WhatsApp chats from 2016. I didn't back up. I've made a huge mistake. Stage 3. Regret. Why did I do this to myself? Stage 4. Acceptance. Well, at least it runs faster now. Stage 5. Redownloading all the apps you don't use because somehow TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, YouTube, Pinterest, and 32 shopping apps magically reinstall themselves. Now let's see what happens afterwards. 1. Your phone feels faster. Because no background junk, no corrupted cache, no weird settings, no rogue apps draining battery. It's like your phone finally had a spa day. 2. Battery life improves. Resetting wipes battery calibration data, forcing the system to relearn how your battery behaves. 3. Storage problem fixed. All the other storage junk that was impossible to delete? Gone. Evaporated. Disappeared like your motivation to fold laundry. 4. Apps behave normally again. Because the system rebuilt itself from scratch. Corrupted files? Destroyed. Glitched updates? Reset? Weird bugs? Gone. 1. You might lose unsynced data forever. Screenshots. Old notes. Game progress. Drafts. Download files. App data. Once the reset hits, there is no undo button. 2. Locked devices. FRP lock. If you don't remember your Google or Apple ID password, your phone becomes a nice rectangular paperweight. 3. Reinstalling everything takes forever. Downloading 85 apps. Logging into every account. Resetting preferences. Auth codes. CAPTCHAs. Resetting dark mode. Your life becomes one long loading bar. Resetting your phone is the right move if... It's been years since last reset, battery is dying fast, storage is full, apps constantly crash, phone runs hot, malware is suspected, you're selling it, you just want a clean slate. Don't reset your phone if you haven't backed up, you forgot your Apple Google password, you're doing it just because your friend said it boosts speed, you're emotionally attached to your data. So what really happens when you factory reset your phone? You don't just wipe data, you erase identities, break encryption, restore performance, and give your device a second life. It's the closest thing your phone has to reincarnation. When it boots up again, fresh and innocent, it looks at you like, hello, father. And you respond, yes, now don't embarrass me again.